what's up you guys this is Rob from McGay Guy Plays and welcome to another installment of the Daily Grind. So today on our kind of revisiting series I decided that we should take a look at Hydroid. A lot of people wanted me to go ahead and take a look at Hydroid. He's been a bit of a hot button topic issue for um, a lot of the players out there and after kind of like looking at his kid and re-reviewing and Kind of digging in deep to some of the mechanics, I'm like, ooh, I can see why now. I can see why. And let's go ahead and jump right into his build. And you're going to notice I actually have two builds for you. And this is going to be one of the main reasons why I'm so, like, frustrated. So... One of the things that you'll notice is one of the big popular builds that has been running around is kind of like the narrow-minded build. And this basically helps take all of the tentacles that kind of randomly spawn from Tentacle Swarm, which is his most popular ability. Well, I think, I don't know, some people would call it his most popular ability. I think it's his most popular ability. Um, but it takes Tentacle Swarm and it kind of narrows down the radius at which tentacles can spawn. So that way you have a more consistent placement of where your tentacles are going to be. Because otherwise, if you do like overextend, they're just all over the place. You don't get more tentacles, you just get more spread out tentacles. Um, now, after doing a bit of research, because um, I was actually a big fan of uh, Barrage, so that's the ability where all of these little salvos come down and it looks like you're kind of like jacking off people <laughs> when you're trying to explain it to them. But yeah, all of these salvos come down and it knocks all of the enemies down in an area. Now, notice I have two builds, the Corroding Barrage build and the Pilfering Swarm build, and that is mainly because if you take a look at his abilities, um, the way that Tentacle Swarm works is they spawn in a radius. Well, the way that Tempest Barrage works is it has a set radius. So when you use Narrow Minded on Tempest Barrage, it, act it doesn't make the radius any smaller. However, it makes the explosion radius of each salvo smaller. So the explosion radius is like teensy tiny little splats. It's kind of like you're spurting all over the place, but not necessarily a big old gush, you know? And what ends up happening is it's kind of like it kind of fucks up the whole purpose of Tempest Barrage, which was supposed to be this kind of like AOE knockdown ability. Um, so what happens when you like optimize Tentacle Swarm is you kind of shit on Tempest Barrage. You optimize Tempest Barrage, you kind of shit on Tentacle Swarm. Which kind of brings me to the whole the whole issue with Hydroid. So it was actually the other day that we were chatting about um, how I kind of felt that Oberon's issues. Let's see what we've got. We've got mobile defense. Let's do that one. Um, with with Oberon, one of his big issues was the fact that well, are we gonna grab a mission, do something, do something. No, no, no. Oh wait, we got somebody. We got somebody. Where did, where did we go? There you go. Um, the whole issue with Oberon was the fact that his theme was all over the place, but his mechanics were pretty solid, and I, that's, I genuinely stick to that. I feel like his mechanics are pretty solid, they just, I don't know, they're a little bit nonsensical at times with his theme. And with Hydroid, his theme is fucking set. He is like pirate, ocean, like Poseidon, kind of like... You know, basically, he's Captain Hentai. <laughs> and that's that's the big issue, is his theme is super, super set, but his mechanics are not quite there. Now, one of the big... When, when I was looking at his overall kit, um, one of the big pervasive things that I noticed was he literally has everything that everybody hates. <laughs> so his one and his four... I don't know why I did this. Two, let's do like this. Four <laughs> are RNG based, um, and everybody fucking hates RNG. So Tempest Barrage, you can literally aim it at an enemy, depending on which build you're using. You can literally aim it at an enemy, and it just won't do shit to them. So sometimes tentacles won't spawn in the areas you want them to. You know, they say that tentacles um, tend to spawn where enemies are, and you know, sometimes they do. And also at the same time, when enemies are not there, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes you get, you get a good spawn and sometimes you get a bad spawn. Same thing happens with, um, Tempest Barrage. Sometimes you get a good spawn of Salvos and sometimes you don't. In addition, Tempest Barrage is also blocked. And I'm not saying that it shouldn't be. Ooh, get away from me. <laughs> uh, Tempest Barrage is blocked by, um, by terrain. So that also kind of like brings it down, brings the brings another level of frustration to the ability. I just get punched in the face, don't I? That's fucked up. 
you, you can, you can, I'm trying to record a video here. Can you give me a moment? Jesus. Oh, uh, no, I guess not. Wait, didn't I just, didn't I just fuck you up? Didn't, all right, there you go. Okay, good. Maybe there's a little bit of a delay. Um, so it's, it's one of the few times where it's kind of like, literally you can point, like I was aiming here. There are tentacles over there. <laughs> so it's, it's, that's one of the big frustrations. It's kind of like you can literally be pointing at an enemy and aim at an enemy and you can be spot on, but literally you will not hit them. And of course that, that only happens maybe 25% of the time. But it, it is quite frustrating when you do. So we've got the RNG-based element, which, as we know, players are not necessarily super fond of. Then we've also got what I call, you know, the the Ash pre-Bladestorm rework element or the Limbo element, where literally, when you use your three, you sink down, and all these enemies fall into the hole. Yes, you do do um, finishing. You do do finishing damage to them. However, it's a very, very small amount of finishing damage that you do to them. So it, it's not, I won't even necessarily say that it's like 100% worth it. Like I almost feel like it would be better if, I don't know, maybe you just rooted them in place and allowed, you know, allies to, to, to actually strike them instead of um, like sucking them into the undertow and just making them completely untargetable. Because it's that untargetability that a lot of people were not super fond of. They did not like the fact that Ash made enemies invulnerable while he was blade storming. People don't like it when Limbo um, banishes an enemy and they can't, you know, they can't kill it or they can't attack it. And that's kind of like that's one of the big frustrations. Is you know that's another thing on top of the RNG uh, to add onto the list. Now here's one thing that I do. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Here's one thing that I do have to mention at the- What the fuck is that? Um, at the same time, at the same time to all of that, the, his last ability kind of does not make any sense to me. Like, I don't really feel like it fits in his kit. So we've seen Nidus, and he's, you know, he's definitely got his combo. He's got his, he's got his tentacle, he's got his, um, what is it called? The spawn, or no, he's got larva which spawns that big tentacle blob that pulls everything in and then you spam one on it and you kick it and you kick its butt, right? That's that's a combo. What does this combo with? Like, we Hydroid isn't necessarily a super tanky frame. If anything, he's almost like borderline magey if we're going to, you know, use typical R um, if we're going to use RPG tropes. He's a little bit he's a little bit of a beefier mage, but really not by that much. Um, so why does he have a dash into combat? I know he knocks enemies down, and that's and that's a thing. It's totally thematic. He turns into a wave and he rushes at his enemies and he knocks them down. Um, but you know, when you're dealing with like high damage targets, it at, at the same time it's kind of like, okay, you're rushing yourself into the middle of combat. But you don't have any defensive abilities, kind of like um, how Zephyr has Turbulence, so she can fly in if she wants, and they can keep shooting at her if, if you know, they want to do that, but they're not going to get any hits off of her. Or Excalibur, who could be, um, who can blind them, or uh, he can blind them or use the parries off of his slash dash, right? So it's one of those things where, like, that's just a part of the kit that doesn't necessarily make sense. So we've got three abilities. <laughs> The combined elements of things that people don't like. Can you, can you please? No, don't. Please don't. Can you please just don't? There you go. <clears throat> um, we've got, you know, we've got those three aspects that people are not necessarily fond of. Now, here's the one thing I do have to say. Hydroid, to me, completely embraces his theme. Like with pirates, there's a lot of things about luck. There's a lot of things about chaos. And he gives a good, how do I say this? He gives a good um, alternative to a lot of the typical standard, uh, to give a, to give an alternative to the typical, you know, standard um, defensive frames. Because there is there is a specific defensive frame meta, and it can get a little bit boring. This is a little bit more chaotic, and you can you can really feel the theme. You can feel the seas raging. You can feel the kind of luck of the pirates kind of being incorporated in. You're like, well, we're, well, we're gonna hit them where it hurts, boys. And it totally feels appropriate. How, however, it, it, fun does not always mean effective. 
and it would be nice for fun to have some sort of efficacy beyond, you know, beyond not. <laughs> um, and also having to trade the efficacy for, for, for different versions of the same, for different versions of the build, you know? I don't know. And that's, that's kind of my stance on Hydroid as, as it stands. That's my stance as it stands. It's great, 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 great wording, Rob. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my my only hope is that they do something to give him a little bit more consistency because is this even is this is am I even at a place are we defending this still? Is are are we defending this? Is this am, am I no. We're we're done with that. I should be somewhere else. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. The last recording, the last version of this video went to shit too and and here I am shitting this one up as well. But I mean, I guess it's I guess it fits. It is Hydroid. Now, now it does knock enemies down, okay? I'm, I, I will give this more credit where it's due. Yes, it does knock enemies down, and it does kind of give you a little bit of time to, 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 to react. But if you don't make it quite all the way to where you were going, and you end up two feet in front of your enemy, you have no defensiveness to, to combo with that. If you noticed in both of my builds, one of the um, abilities that I actually or one of the augments that I consistently have is I consistently have um, Curative Undertow on. And that's mainly because with with Hydroid, when your defensive when your defenses fail, you need you need a backup plan. And you know that's also very piratey, you know. You have to have you have your plan B mateys is to like literally shrink into a puddle. <laughs> That's literally your plan B. You're like, tactical retreat, tactical retreat. Um, and that's the thing though, it's kind of like, it's fun and it's laughable because I, I at least feel that Hydroid is fun to use. He's fun, he's different, but he's also, he can also be extremely frustrating. He can also be extremely, extremely frustrating. And yes, I understand I'm using a corrosive build on a corpus, on a corpus enemy, but this is where the Kuva is. And we're on a hunt for treasure, boys! <laughs> See, like, look at that. If, if, if those enemies had been paying more attention to me, literally they would, they could have just sh shot me right in the face. It could have been like Saturday night all over again. You know what I mean? Like, I was mere feet away from those enemies and I had no defensive measures other than to shrink into a puddle. Which, I mean, that's the thing. That's the thing with this series, is I'm not discussing how we should rework them. This is just kind of like an insightful look at the way Warframes operates. Um, and again, like one of my big things is I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily want to say, you need to rework this. I'm just like, just look at what this does and then, you know, get your own feels about it. Get, understand how it feels. But again, um, to reiterate, like, Hydroid just kind of mixes all of the things that people just don't, don't like. <laughs> it's like, no RNG, um, no consistent abilities, uh, no defensive abilities, but you have a dash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you also can kind of hold up enemies, because, let's see how much damage I'm doing to this, to, to these guys. 20, ooh, 25 whopping damage. Of course this isn't a high, this isn't a high damage build. But of course, this is uh, ignoring, this is completely ignoring armor and shields and whatnot. Let's just chill out here for a little bit. Let's see what, let's see what happens. I don't, I don't believe I have power strength in this either. Look at these mohas. They're like, I don't want to go there. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to fight this terror of the ocean. Are you sapping Osprey? Fuck you. I'm trying to kill these guys. Um, but yeah. It's just, it's just like a lot of his abilities aren't the most effective, and I kind of did want to take you guys on a pilfering swarm, on a pilfering swarm mission, but I feel like my feelings are already pretty much wrapped up in this alone. Um, like, I don't know, I guess I could talk about like how I feel like we should rework him, but I mean, that's, I, I feel like there should be a whole video dedicated that to that on its own. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys, let me know how you guys feel about Hydroid. Do you guys dislike him? What, what are the, po let, let's, let's try this. What can you guys see as the positive in Hydroid? Because I literally just sat this whole video, like laying out all of his issues and where I feel he falls short. The only defense that I have for him is he's kind of good at his job when it works. 
Pilfering Swarm is great at getting you extra bonus loot. Um, and he can, and he's thematically appropriate. That, that's what I got for you. That's literally all I got for Hydrid for you. He's fun, he's different, but he's inconsistent. He's RNG based. He locks down enemies in the way that people don't really like. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. The only, those are, I'm trying to look at the positive sides. And honestly, I kind of, I kind of feel bad because I love the pirate theme. I love all of the tentacles. I love the salvos. But having to choose between one's efficacy versus the other is really, really frustrating. I'm like, wait, modding-wise, this kind of sucks. Like, modding-wise, you, you almost can't have him specialize in area control because you fuck up one version of area control, you fuck up you fuck up one version of the area control, then one becomes good. And then you, you try to fucking, you know, balance that out with another form, and it just... The only way to do it is to kind of be okay at both. And with with him, like, Hydroid's specialty is area control, and without... And even then he conflicts with himself. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna let you guys fill in all of the blanks. Um, are you feeling my pain? Are you like, oh, two in RNG abilities, uh, a not let other people attack things ability, and a dash when you really have no other defensive capabilities? Let me know. Let me know. Are you feeling the same feels that I am? Because, I like, look at him! He's a cute little pirate man! How can you... Uh, don't do him like that, D! <laughs> anyway, um, again, give me your point of view. As always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye